The Griffles family has amassed a $3.8 billion fortune from the thriving blood plasma business with 220 donation centers in the United States helping boost the family's bottom line. Here to help us understand what the blood plasma business is and why it is so lucrative, Bloomberg's Emma Vickers. Emma, what does this family actually do? So um, the Griffles family run a pharmaceutical company that develops drugs from human blood plasma. So that's the liquid that all your red blood cells float in. And it's really important for patients that have compromised immune systems. So anyone having chemotherapy. Um, and it's also shown uh, very positive results in slowing the progression of Alzheimer's. So it's a really valuable thing that they're, they're doing. So why is it controversial? It's controversial because critics say that this is, uh, well, this industry is centered in the U.S. 61% um, of global donations come from the U.S. And that's because the U.S. allows people to be paid to donate. And that has sparked some controversy because critics of this industry say that it's exploiting poor people to offer them money for bodily fluids. So it's a complicated issue. Okay, so the idea being also that they build some centers specifically in lower income areas in order to cater to the people who are more likely to donate their plasma, correct? Yeah, I mean, I think that's what critics would say. And there's been a couple of university studies that have geocoded where these centers are, not just Griffles, but the 800 plasma centers across the US. And they are overwhelmingly um, in low income areas. Um, you know, and the reporting that we did when we were speaking to people outside these clinics about why they were donating, there were people who just needed a bit extra. They needed to supplement food stamps or they needed to, they're working two jobs and they needed a bit more. You know, it's, it's not wealthy Americans that are doing this.